Well, a very good Friday evening here in Southwest Louisiana, where, yeah, it's definitely still very warm to even hot outside early on this evening, with temperatures still in the 90s, no matter which location you pick out. The coolest spot is 90 degrees over in Jennings, of course, so that is anything but cool. We go to 92 degrees in De Quincey, and even in the coastline, Cameron at 91 degrees is thanks to the influence of northeasterly winds blowing away from the Gulf of Mexico waters, which is still a little bit cooler this time of year, so that's why we got so hot today down at the Meaty Coast. Thankfully, at least we have a lot of sunshine. No rain is expected for any evening plans we may have going on tonight. And we're certainly not expecting any sort of rain. The only rain is well removed off to the west of our area over the Four Corners and Plains region. And you can actually make out the influence of upper level high pressure situated close to our area. You'll notice the rain basically over in the Four Corners region is moving in a more northerly direction, which becomes a more easterly direction over in the Plains and states like Kansas. And that's basically a clockwise rotation going on. And that's why you can make out that high pressure system overhead. It's also the reason why it's been so hot today and it's going to take a while for things to cool down tonight. In fact, even as we get closer to midnight, it may take a while to get even down into the 70s. So keep that in mind. It's going to remain very warm out for any plans we have going on early tonight. Now, thankfully, as we wake up tomorrow morning, we should see these temperatures a little cooler. That means temperatures probably around 70 degrees for lows and Burnin, Beauregard Island parishes into the mid 70s off to the south. But another quick warm up is going to take place. And the result will be another day of high temperatures into the upper 80s, closer to the coastline, or maybe even the low 90s. In fact, southerly winds, I think, are more likely to return tomorrow, which means we have more humidity and it's going to feel even warmer. We may see more locations, I think reach between uh, near 100 degrees to maybe near 105 degrees tomorrow for a feels like temperature. So if you do have plans to spend time outdoors, remember to stay hydrated and take frequent breaks if you're doing any sort of physical activity. So there is that high pressure system I was talking about moving a little closer tomorrow, but by next week, there's signs that begins to drift off to the south. And there also could be a very we cold front off to the north. So the com combination of those two, I think could be enough to introduce again, a slight chance for a few showers or maybe a couple afternoon thunderstorms as we head throughout the week. We'll continue to keep an eye on trends over the weekend. A quick look at the tropics shows a very quiet picture. There are some signs that maybe a broad area of low pressure forms over the next, or outside of the next week. So between seven and 10 days out, even then that's far from a guarantee that we see any sort of tropical development and we'll keep you updated if anything changes. But the biggest story here is going to remain the heat with temperatures into the low 90s this weekend. It's definitely going to be a hot one outside. It's definitely going to be a hot one. We're going to have to stay hydrated. Thanks, Max.